before I get into this video, guys, um, I'm going to put a picture uh, after this little uh, shot. Um, and I want to challenge you guys um, to figure out what the uh, film is. Um, the picture does have to do with what today's video is, which you can probably tell from the title is uh, my tarot reading for the year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put a picture at the end of this shot. Uh, and I want to challenge you guys uh, to figure out what film it's from or references. What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading um, for uh, what's uh, 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 my prospects for this year um, when my brain wants to connect to my mouth. Um, I'm using my tarot deck which I got uh, the Mystic Mondays one. I will link them in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Um, I find the cards are very easy to read and you can get them with a little book so that you can actually read all the card meanings um, and they also have an app as well um, which is helpful for like uh, uh, daily mindfulness and stuff. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly shuffle my cards and we'll get this reading underway. Give myself some space here. Uh, so I like to break them up into three piles. You'll get three piles of 26. Um, and then I'll, once I've finished splitting the cards, I'll show you guys how I... Um, shuffle them. Um, I'm going to be doing a diamond spread, um, just because I find it's the easiest one, um, particularly when you have a question such as the one I have. Um, So, I've got my three piles. Um, now, I do read the uh, cards as reversed. If I get a reversed card, I don't just read the positive, like the, the right way up. So, if a card comes this way, for instance, this is the Ace of Pentacles. If it comes this way, it's like normal. And if it comes this way, it's reversed. And I do read the reversed. Uh, so the first pile, I sort of go under over with it, like this. Sorry, camera's at a higher angle than I thought it was. Uh, the second deck, I just simply reverse the order. Of the cards and then the last one is the easiest one because I, I simply just reverse the cards uh, and then the more I shuffle them the more sort of randomized the um, reversed order of cards are and then we'll simply just wasn't as much of a show off as I was hoping it would be. Uh, and then we've got to shuffle in this reversed 
photo one. Uh, now, if you do drop cards when you're shuffling tarot cards, you're not supposed to pick them back up. Um, the idea being that um, your future definitely does not involve whatever that card would have told you. So you're not actually supposed to pick up any cards that you drop when shuffling. All right, we're just gonna take this top four cards. So straight down and I've got two reversed two right side up. All right. Um, the other thing too is when you've got your cards down, you don't flip them this way, because obviously that reverses its order. You flip them sideways to keep the top at the top, uh, and then you can read the card. Um, since I don't need that, that can all go back in the box. Uh, let's read my cards. So I'm going to just flip them all over. I like that. That is a good card. Okay, so my first one. Uh, now, I will. I have an image that I can put just here for you guys um, of what the uh, things mean. But if I'm memory, remembering correctly, the top card, so the first one I'll read you, is a like a relationships love card. Then you've got, I think it's finances. See the finances or career is the next one. And then health and happiness. And then we finish with a finance or career card. Um, I can't remember which way around the finance career cards go, but they are, they are the four. So um, yeah. So the first card that I've got came this way up is the uh, Three of Cups. Uh, I'm, I know for a fact that it's a... Uh, I seem to get it a lot, actually, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I get it a lot, sometimes upside down. Um, and so here's the page for it. And because we got it up the right way, we read this side. Uh, and so it says... Uh, every day is a party. Your social life is roaring with festivities spent with quality friends and family, birthdays, weddings, happy hour, all amazing opportunities to hang with your squad. You're feeling deeply connected to your community, savouring the moments spent together. Harmony flows through your commitments and relationships, creating balance between work and play. The Three of Cups is also about groups of people coming together to work for a common cause. If you're feeling stressed, remember to take some time to relax with your loved ones. Rely on your lady friends to get you through the tough times. Uh, let loose, nothing is too big or too small to celebrate, uh, especially when you're in good company. Cheers to love and good fortune in your life. Uh, so that's a pretty good one for getting for relationships, if we're being completely honest. Um, it makes me feel pretty good, uh, considering that I'm currently talking to someone that I really like. Um, so that's that's that. The next one I got is a reversed card. I've got the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, I am just going to quickly check what um, what order this goes in, so I know what this is for. All right. So I just had a quick look, and it is finances first, and career is the fourth one. Uh, so my finances, Knight of Wands. Uh, He's all the way up near the back of the book. He is the third last one, and I got reversed. So, uh, okay, this is this is only good if you get the upright one. Um, so, uh, living moment to moment, the Knight of Wands reversed indicates a loss of control through his impatience and reckless behaviour. Impulsive actions lead to mistakes. Uh, rushing ahead without thinking about positive, sorry, possible repercussions. Frustration and anger arise at every delay that occurs and then it gets worse as time just rolls along. Taking risks pushes you ahead but there are times to be cautious as well. Failure to think ahead has you scrambling to manage the day-to-day -day activities with even more wasted energy used to put out fires. Realign back to your vision and give yourself time to structure a plan. Uh, you deserve to succeed which means properly thinking through each step and how to implement them. Have patience, you will get where you need to go in time. Oh, okay. I'm going to be a little impatient with my money this year. That's 
I wouldn't be able to save. So we're going to have to really, really sort of think about that. All right. Um, health and happiness is the ace of pentacles reversed. Um, so, yeah, where's, where is he at? Okay, there he is, reversed. Uh, this is for health and happiness, despite the fact that this is a money card. Uh, pay close attention to your finances. Well, doesn't that just link up nicely with the other one? Uh, you may need that extra cushion that you've been saving up for. That's not good. Uh, manifesting may feel a little harder with financial setbacks, but don't let that dismay you. This is just a sign to reevaluate your plan of what's working and what's not. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help from a financial advisor or do some digging with your own money research. Weigh the pros and cons before you commit to payments you may not be able to afford. You may be consumed with climbing up the ladder and obsessing over money at the expense of balancing the other areas in your life. Have a plan with financial goals you want to reach and create stability for yourself. It will set the foundation for the future of your new venture, even if it's just an idea right now. Nice little silver lining there for me at the end. And then my last card is one of the major arcana. It is the Empress, and I did get it upright. So uh, it's number three, I think. Let's see how correct he is. Number three, the Empress. All right. And this is my career card. So, ruled by Venus, the Empress is a card of love, creativity, and fertility. It celebrates the beauty in life and encourages you to get inspired by taking time for yourself. Connect with your feminine energy and dive deep into pleasurable activities. In short, go enjoy yourself. The Empress implores you to explore your surroundings, express your creativity, and plant the seeds for a fulfilling crop of life. Respect to Mother Earth, the source of which will ground you, but also allow you to reach your higher consciousness for inspiration. The Empress is a nurturing soul who cares deeply about the people around her. Take after her loving vibes and support the people who are in your life. Remember to also nourish yourself, the greatest gift you can give unto others. Awesome. That's uh, considering the ideas that I have concerning my work at the moment. That's that's a pretty good card to get at the end. So all in all, um, I just need to sort of keep an eye on my money this year. Um, and everything else should pan out the way I hope it will, which is good. It's very good. It's sort of, obviously I can't 100% trust in these because you know, there is a certain amount of luck to what cards you get, but at the same time, the belief is that the universe chose these cards for me. I was always destined to get them. Um, so whichever way you believe, uh, no one's forcing you to believe them for yourself. Um, I can go back in there. They'll end up getting shuffled again anyway. So put my book back in there. Lid back on the box. Oh, awesome. Alright, uh, if you enjoyed this video guys, like I said, I will leave a link down below to um, Mystic Mondays. I'll like link their Instagram, um, the website, a couple other things down below. Um, and yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments section because um, I might do more of this sort of thing if it's something you guys are interested in um it's certainly something that interests me like astrology and stuff i've got a whole heap of uh astrology videos sort of planned for throughout the year i don't want to just dump them all at one time um but yeah um uh, if that's uh uh something that interests you let me know and we will we will do a video that I'm rambling. I'm gonna go. Um, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload uh, a new video. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends as well. And if you want to see more content in between uploads, you can follow my Instagram at Ace of the Arts or my Tumblr at Stories Around a Campfire. And I will see you in the next video.